This is Herman Brooks. Herman is just like the rest of us. Every day, he has to make all kinds of decisions. Like what to wear, whom to date, and when to panic. Now, these decisions should be easy. But if you take a look inside Herman's head, you'll see why he sometimes has trouble making up his mind. I'm Herman's intellect. Without me, he couldn't hold his job, pay his rent, or tie his shoes. I'm Herman's sensitivity. Without me, he wouldn't feel tenderness, honesty, or love. The good things in life. Oh, I'm Herman's anxiety, and I keep him out of trouble. And believe me, there's trouble everywhere. I'm Herman's lust. Without me, he'd miss out on all the good stuff. You know, fun, food, babes. Sometimes they agree. Usually they don't. But this struggle is going on inside all of us. And it's all going on inside Herman's head. Research. At what age is a single woman considered an old maid? Mother, stop calling me at work! <laughs> Did you get him? Did you get him? Right here. Two tickets to the most happy fellow, third row, center. Oh, Herman, your sister's gonna love that. What else are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna take her to the Statue of Liberty. Then we're going to the Central Park Zoo. I really want to give her a taste of New York. In that case, why don't you just knock her down, steal her purse, and give her the finger? <laughs> Bracken! Harris, what can I do for you? I want this research and proof by tomorrow morning. Oh, this is a mess. It'll take at least three days. No good, I have a deadline. You and every other editor at Waterton. I want it tomorrow, and that's final. Look, you little... Mr. Harris, Mr. Roger Harris, I'm Hetty Newman, and I just want to say that I am a big fan of your magazine. You read Camping Life? I haven't missed an issue since the Canvas 10 Vinyl 10 controversy. That debate caused quite a rift in the camping community. <laughs> you know, I want to personally research that article for you, but I'm going to need three... No, four days. You got it. <laughs> There's your extra time. I saw it, but I still can't believe it. Why can't I do that? Because you have the people skills of Boo Radley. Oh. <laughs> what do people skills have to do with getting all the work done? Well, you wouldn't have so much work to do if you knew how to handle people better. Now, I can teach you how to be more political. Well, perhaps I could stand to sharpen my interpersonal skills. But in exchange, I want two days off next week. Eddie. See, that's your first lesson. If you have something someone else wants, ream them. I'll give you one day. Deal. Lesson number two. I only wanted one day. <laughs> so, Herman, when's the last time you saw your sister? Geez, a couple of years. She was still in high school when I came to New York. What's she like? Oh. She's the sweetest little girl. What's wrong? I didn't make the cheerleading squad. Oh, those cheerleaders. They're just going to end up as bitter alcoholic divorcees. Oh. <laughs> Is this supposed to make me feel better? No, it's supposed to make me feel better, because no cheerleaders ever said anything to me except, out of my way, band wuss. <laughs> you always know how to cheer me up. Well, next year you're going to make the squad, and who wants to see a cheerleader who's not cheerful? So come on. Let's go get some cupcakes. You're the best brother in the whole world. Aww. 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 So what's she like? Susie is a great girl. She's all American, a straight-A student, cheerleader, always smiling. Hi, Herman. <laughs> Susie? It's not Susie. It's Astrid. I changed my name in protest of the deteriorating state of the rainforest. Ah, oh, what effect did that have? Cheered me up, okay? <laughs> so, how, how are Mom and Dad? Well, they're doing fine for two people trapped in a sham of a loveless marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, how would you like two tickets to the most happy fella? So, this is where you work? What a suffocating, depersonalizing Orwellian nightmare. And all this time, I thought it was just my imagination. Someone kidnapped our sister and left us with an Italian war widow. 
Look, Susie, um... Astrid, I think a name is very important. It says who you are. What is your name? Louise Fitzer. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, why don't we go next door and grab a hamburger at McAnally's? I don't eat meat. Well, I'm sure they have something else you can have. I don't eat bread because they remove all the nutrients. I don't eat chicken because they keep them cooped up in pens. I don't eat escargot. Why, because they're snails? No, because they're a little out of my price range. <laughs> what is that, a joke? Um, look, you know, Louise and I are going next door to McAnally's anyway. Why don't you come along and, and watch us eat? Fine. Now would be a good time to knock her down, steal her purse, and give her the finger. <laughs> Hey, Hermie. Hey. Who's the Amish babe? Yeah. <laughs> Jay, this is my sister. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Astrid. Oh, like the Jetsons dog? <laughs> That's Astro. Oh, too bad. Jay Nichols, nice to meet you. So, Herma, what happened to your sister Susie? Susie is a naive little girl who gets taken advantage of by men. Great, when can I meet her? <laughs> Jay, Astrid is Susie. Wait a minute, then who's Astro? That's the Jetson's dog. I thought Elroy was the Jetson's dog. No, no, no. Elroy is the Jetson's son. The daughter was Judy. Oh, are you people through? Right. You're right. So, so, how is that boyfriend of yours? She has got this boyfriend. She's been, you've been going together since junior high. He is so great. How, how is Brad? Brad is dead. <laughs> God, how did Brad die? I didn't say he died. Just as far as I'm concerned, he's dead. You broke up with Brad? I can't believe it. They were the perfect couple. Good luck, Brad. Out of my way, Ben was. You and Brad had a little tiff, is that it? A tiff? He lied to me. Threw a toaster at his head. <laughs> it's you kids. Hey, you know what we should do for you? Go home and bake some cupcakes. I need a drink. Who do you have to sleep with around here to get some service? Allow me. Uh, what, do you, what do you want, a diet soda? Yeah, Herman, a diet soda and a pair of waxed lips. I'll have a vodka noise. Uh, hi, uh, two beers and a vodka straight for Elvira here. And I'll have a tropical drink with a little umbrella in it. Don't you just love when you take the little umbrella home, you put on a little doll's hat and pretend you're the world's largest song and dance man? <laughs> oh, my God, I'm the only one. Oh, Susie! You don't smoke and you don't drink. We're going home now. Herman. Hey, if you leave right now, we can catch Beauty and the Beast. You don't get it, do you? I am not some little girl anymore. Where's that drink? So, you broke up with your boyfriend, huh? Well, you're not going to defend him, are you? No, no. It was another woman, wasn't it? How'd you know? Yeah, I met her all the same. He just panicked, that's all. Probably didn't want to be tied down. Or maybe he did, and you wouldn't do that. Jay! <laughs> or maybe we just weren't emotionally compatible. Yeah, could be the attraction was uh, purely sexual. Can we please change the subject? Herman, can I talk to you? There's Bruce Shaw. He's that cute new editor. I want you to go over there and butter him up. Why would I engage in idle chatter with a man I hardly know? He just sent a ton of work to our office, and we need an extension. Now, remember, a lot of compliments, a pleasant smile, and every once in a while, wiggle your butt. <laughs> oh, that's right. Butt wiggling only works for me. I don't know why you insist on treating her like a child. It's just difficult for me to talk to her about these things. Well, you're going to have to, because she came here for help. Right. So obvious. Hi, Herman. Do you have any idea what time it is? No. 12.30. So why'd you ask? <laughs> I have been up all night worrying about you. Where have you been? With Jay. Oh, with J Jay. With Jay, five nights in a row. Well, you're seeing way too much of Jay. I like him. 
He is a filthy, disgusting sleaze who uses women. I know, he's my best friend. Okay? And I, I don't want you seeing any more of him. Let me get this straight, Herman. Are you grounding me? I am not grounding you. I'm just curtailing your nighttime activities. Who are you, Dad? No, I am not, Dad. Now go to your room. Herman, this is a studio apartment. Then fine, go to your couch. Look, I've got news for you. Jay has been helping me. Oh, he's been helping you. That's right. He knows what I'm going through. Oh, well, of course he knows what you're going through. When it comes to dumping women, Jay wrote the book. Actually, he's been meaning to write the book, but he's been too busy dumping women. Don't you think I know who Jay is? And why are you going to him for advice? I'm your big brother. You should come to me. I came to you. You wanted to make cupcakes. Yes, and thanks to you, I burned them. Now no one has cupcakes. <laughs> See you later, Herman. Well, well, Susie. We have a real problem here. Don't panic. I know just what to do. Scrape the burnt part off the cupcakes, they'll be just fine. <laughs> Would you forget about the cupcakes? We have to go after Susie. You're the, the Astrid or whatever the hell her name is. <laughs> do you know how many maniacs are out there mugging people, stabbing people, hacking them to bits? You're right. We have to go after her. That was my argument for staying put. <laughs> Jay, I'm really sorry to wake you. That's okay, man. I was up. What's going on? I've been walking the streets for hours. I hear there's good money in that. <laughs> no. No, Susie and I had a fight. Oh, no kidding. That's all my fault. I yelled at her. I told her I didn't want you guys to spend any more time together. Really? Yeah, I guess I overreacted. Did she stop by? No, actually, I haven't seen her. <sighs> Jay, who is it? You know, now that I think about it, maybe I have seen her. <laughs> what it looks like. Killed you, you son of a bitch! Roman, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Come on, what's the big deal? So Jay and I slept together. I'm 19 years old, Herman. I'm not a virgin. I'm 19 years old, Herman. I'm not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> you just did this to get back at me, didn't you? Herman, this has nothing to do with you. She's got a point, Herm. This is none of your business. Yeah, it is. There's... Something special between me and your sister. Gee, I don't want to hear this. I mean, this was not a typical Jay Nichols conquest, although it did have certain elements in common. Are you talking about that thing with the whipped cream? <laughs> I made her some hot chocolate. I can't deal with this. Herman, the truth is, I really care about your sister. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Let's go. No, I'm staying here with Jay. So now you're going to spend the rest of the night in his bed. I don't get it either, Herm, but women seem to like it. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word out of you. Herman, it's time you started treating me like an adult and you started acting like an adult yourself. Okay, that's it. I'm telling on you. <laughs> Be that simple, Hetty. There's more to office politics than just wiggling your behind. Of course there is. Sometimes you've got to put out. <laughs> There's Harris. Did you finish his article? No. What? I want you to use what you've learned to get an extension. Hetty, I oh, don't head, think... Mr. Bracken, get that extension. Bracken, I need that article. Harris, did you lose weight? I don't think so. Well, you look fantastic. How's that adorable wife of yours and those wonderful children? They're fine. Thanks for asking. You know... Roger, I hear you're a great golfer. Actually, I'm just a beginner. Oh, don't be <laughs> modest. We ought to get together sometime and play. All right. <laughs> oh, Paul, do you have that article? Uh, Rog, here's the thing. We want to do a good job for you because you deserve it. So we're going to need just a little more time just to make sure everything is perfect. Paul, I wouldn't do this for just anyone. Take the rest of the week. Oh, thanks, Rob. No problem. <laughs> This time you crossed the line. Man. Herman, she was a willing participant. I don't want to hear this. Herman, I never would have slept with her if I didn't really care about her. Just get out. Just get out. Not you, Louise. <laughs> Can 
Can I stay, too? No. Herman, is everything all right? He slept with my sister, Louise. Jay slept with my sister. Uh, wh why don't we talk about this outside, huh? Now, Herman, I know it is difficult for you to think of your sister as an adult. That's right. Also, it is kind of nauseating to think of Jay in bed with any woman. Hey. hey. But he is your best friend, and the two of you are going to have to work this out. Herman, I really like her. Leave her alone, Jay. I am asking you as a friend to leave her alone. I can't do it, Herman. Anything but that. I'm sorry. I care a lot about you, but I'm, I'm crazy about it. Well, you're going to have to choose then, because it's her or me. I really wish you hadn't said that. Susie. Oh, Herman, could you turn the light off? I like the room dark. Thanks. Death, despair, darkness. The empty void. What are you doing? I'm writing a postcard to Mom and Dad. <laughs> So why aren't you at Jay's? Jay's dead. Oh, my God, Jay. Oh, get a clue, Herman. Dump me. I'm sorry. Come on, Suze. What you need to do is turn that frown upside down. <laughs> oh. When you're sad... Mr. Fisty is sad, too. <laughs> Whoa, ow, 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 ow! Stop treating me like a child. Well, then start acting like an adult. Oh, and I suppose being an adult is baking cupcakes and going to Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I was just trying to make you feel better. Herman, you have absolutely no idea who I am. Sure I do, Susie. You're my kid sister. You're a good student. You were a cheerleader. You and Brad were king and queen of the prom. Herman, you are confusing me with Marsha Brady. I was a cheerleader for one semester, and then I quit. Why? Because somewhere I had it in my head that if I stayed a cheerleader, I would end up this bitter, alcoholic divorcee. <laughs> and as for the prom, that was my Marxist phase. So Brad and I boycotted it because we thought it would be a night of crass, bourgeois rituals. Well, I admit that's not the best theme for a prom, but... <laughs> I'm really surprised Brad didn't want to go, being the captain of the football team and everything. Herman, Brad played football in junior high. For the past four summers, he's been following the Grateful Dead around in a bus. <laughs> Don't you see? You have this image of me that doesn't even exist. You left for college when I was 12 years old. She's right. We don't know who our sister is. How many times do I have to say it? Our sister is Susie Brooks, cheerleader. Haven't you been listening? No, I haven't. Someone's going to have to go talk to him. All right. I'll do it. I never told you this, but when I was little, I thought I was the luckiest girl in the world because I had you for an older brother. Hey, I know. You want to hear me belch the Star Spangled Banner? Remember that? <laughs> I'm not little anymore. I'm 19 years old. I've changed a lot, and I'm still changing. I know that, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. You've got to see me for who I am. Okay. It's not going to be easy. Susie, I think you should give Jay a call. Why? He dumped me. Yeah, I asked him to. You told Jay to stop seeing me? Susie, I'm really sorry. I made a mistake. If you want to see Jay, then you should see Jay. Thank you, Herman. I guess it's been pretty tough for you. How about a beer? Sure. Okay. Oh, a cream. I'm going to Jay's. Oh, Susie. Herman, I was only kidding. Jay's got his own whipped cream. Okay, Mr. Waterton, I'll get right on that. How's the wife? Has her hip healed? Great, great. Oh, crow. <laughs> oh, this is killing me. Pulse is flaring up, my roids are back. 
If I have to lick one more boot, I might just pop. Hey, Paul, we on for golf this weekend? Golf? Who the hell has time for golf? With all the work you idiots are giving me, I barely have time enough to breathe. Now get the hell out of my office. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Hetty, but I don't have the stomach for it. Or the butt. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we ended up brothers-in-law? <laughs> Come over to the house on weekends, fire up the old barbecue. Kids would call you Uncle Hermie. <laughs> then when everyone goes to sleep, we could sneak out and cruise chicks. <laughs> yeah, I guess we couldn't do that, could we? Miss Jay, I've never seen you like this. Well, it's because your sister's special. She's not like the girls I usually go out with. No, no, I think this is for real. I think we're talking long-term relationship here. Well, so long. Susie, where are you going? Jay, I gotta go back to college. I've thought about this. This really isn't for either of us. No, you can't leave. You have to stay with me. What kind of relationship is this? What happened to sharing equality and compromise? Well, why do I have to be the one to compromise? Because you're the chick. <laughs> Look, Jay, this has been a wonderful week. But this was a transitional relationship. You helped me through a really hard time, but it's over. So that's it? Just just like that? Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be fine. I've been through this before. I'll live. Jay Nichols is a survivor. You go off to your college, and I'll uh, go check into a convent. <laughs> Jay, convents are for women only. Yeah, that's why I'm going. <laughs> He'll be okay. I gotta go. Yeah. Oh, here, let me get those for you. Do you have some cash? Oh, did you call Herman? me? Herman? What? What? You're doing it again. Okay. Okay. Well, you want me to walk you to the bus station? No, thank you. I can take care of myself. Yeah, I guess you can. This Thursday, it's a night of mystery. Hi, it's Good Arrange from Power 92 Morning Show. Up next, Stand By Your Man, followed by Get a Life on Fox TV 8. You'll witness the birth of Baby Bart. Then, see how it all began. Welcome to West Beverly High. On the very first episode of 90210. Now, stay tuned for Stand By Your Man.